It's been a hard day in the kitchen today, but it gives me great pleasure to say that that was absolutely delicious. The pasta is cooked very, very well. The mix inside is fantastic. The sauce is rich and packed, packed, packed full of flavour. Really good job. I am very competitive and, you know, I compete before doing boxing. But this one is a different skill. It's what I love the most, cooking. Are you feeling better now that you're cooking your own food? Yes, indeed. More confident about this one. Yep, it's my favourite dish, so... Oh, what is it? A duck breast with shiitake mushroom, with bok choy, fondant potato. And also I have uh, five spices jus. Why do you like this dish so much? I've had a little bit of experiment, just a fusion, a bit of the French and uh, Asian style dish, like with the five spice, and it tastes quite good. What do you want to happen now in this competition? What do you want? <sighs> Hopefully I get in to the next round. Got a lot to show with my skills, especially with the Asian dishes as well. So, yeah, so fingers crossed. I love duck. Hopefully she cooks it beautifully, renders down the fat with nice pink duck breast. Gerald's got a lovely combination of different flavours and ingredients going on. The five spice needs to be roasted in the pan to bring out that beautiful flavour. And the sauce needs to taste of the five spice. The most important thing about potato fondants is they've got to be cooked all the way through. And they need to be oozing lots of beautiful butter. I'm putting everything into this competition. I just need to go into second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gear and show them what I've got. So today I've got a fillet of red mullet, scales left on and basted with hot oil to crisp up the scales. Shellfish sauce, crab, I'm picking down the white meat, raw apple and pickled cauliflower. So you're cooking it with the scales on, but to do that, the, the oil's got to be super, super hot. hot yeah. It's got to be so hot so that uh, the scales actually crisp up, yeah. isn't it? So that's what you're doing. Mm. I think I can do this. I, I want to prove to you that I can do this. Are you naturally competitive then? I like to think so, yeah. I like to win, that's for sure. I think I can go all the way. Let's start with uh, getting this dish right. I like the way that Steve's going to cook the red mullet. He's going to sort of flake up the scales and then using this really hot oil to pour on top. And that will actually sort of crisp up the scales. It's a beautiful way to cook the fish. It's a bit tricky, he's got to get this spot on. Steve's got some tomato running through his sauce. It's a fish sauce, which is made from the bones of the red mullet and the bones and the shells of the crab meat too. It needs to be beautifully balanced with the crab and work in harmony with the rest of the dish. You have four minutes. Chefs, this is getting a little bit too close. You have a minute. It was a hot display. 30 seconds. Your time is up. Stop. Thank you, chefs. First up is Adam, whose signature dish is lobster and smoked salmon-filled raviolo, topped with salmon caviar, served with lobster bisque and dill oil. It's been a hard day in the kitchen today, but it gives me great pleasure to say that that was absolutely delicious. The pasta is cooked very, very well. The mix inside is fantastic. The sauce is rich and packed, packed, packed full of flavour. Really good job. Lovely, sweet lobster. And I'm really impressed that you've got that much depth into that creamy sauce in such little time. Very good job. Real skill. Good Thank cooking. You. Thank you very much. Not a lot on this plate, but what you have, you have executed very, very well. It is delicious. Thank you. Brilliant.
it seems like I got it right. I'm ecstatic with what they said. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have a beer on the way out. <laughs> <laughs>